Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Lebhang, but you'll get to simply know me as L. And the channel's name is Through Al's Eyes. So let's start with the formalities. Thank you to each and every single one of you who has subscribed to the channel. A very warm welcome. I really appreciate the love and support in the form of likes, comments, and sharing of the videos. And I hope that you can continue on the path that we are on, right? So let's get straight into this video i want it to be as short and straight to the point as possible because there are other videos that are coming there often i really just want everything to have a golden thread right so um this is essentially going to talk about how i was thinking about quitting youtube because of the impact of grief and on one's outlook on life you know so for the benefit of those who may not know the previous video that i posted up on the channel i think it is it's now a fortnight <clears throat> pardon me it's a fortnight going on to the third week i posted this video explaining why i was off youtube for a good seven plus months and uh, for those who have not watched the video i'll link it up here and you can watch it at your leisure but just to give you a bit of context, the reason why I'm talking about grief is because I lost a friend in February and um, we never realize until we are deep in the thick of things how they really impact us. You know, you often see or hear of people who cannot go on or see life beyond a certain point after losing something or someone <clears throat> and we make light of it. But I actually got to experience it firsthand and... I think it pushed me to have this lackluster approach on life and the things that I would usually enjoy doing and one of them being YouTube, the other being public speaking. I really stopped being this vivacious and vibrant person and stopped, have, was very relaxed in my approach on my work and that also kind of fizzled, trickled into areas like my work ethic. I really did not have that guys you know that's the only way that I can explain it and uh, so I stopped and I tried to make as a, to to minimize as much as possible going out interacting with people engaging and doing the things that I love to do the most like I said public speaking like I I didn't even attend my Toastmaster meetings because I was like Ugh, what's the point the reason for that was that I felt like I was betraying my friend of living beyond her death I don't even know how to explain it. It felt like I was enjoying that she was not around. And I felt guilty. So when I minimized and the process of minimizing m me doing the things that I love, I felt like I was being of service to her, you know, and I felt like I needed her stamp of approval or not of approval to say, <clears throat> this is how you should conduct yourself without me. And I think for the first two months after her passing a lot of us were in, a lot of us were in denial with the fact that while wow, she really is away like we would chat and say wow geez guys do you realize that we just lost a friend and it was in a tragic accident and i think also it was difficult for us to come to terms with how she passed on it because it was so sudden and it was in a tragic accident and but this goes to point number two so after having this very low very low 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 and sad approach to life i then started making excuses about creating content um so i i make reference to this in the video that i speak of that we often time our healing and say by an x amount of time i will have healed and i will be a better person unfortunately I gave myself three months and as we see it, it wasn't the case three months came and gone and I wasn't okay but when the second month mark hit I was realizing that oh crap in four weeks time three months will have dawned on you and you need to go back to YouTube so there I was and I was trying to make excuses now that's the another thing that kind of made me want to quit YouTube I kept, kept on making excuses to say you know what I've got the equipment I've got lighting, I've got a camera, I've got, I don't have a, a, oh, I needed two things actually, now that I remember, I needed two things. I don't have a laptop where I can, with an editing suite, so I need an editing suite 
and also I don't have great internet connection so now a laptop I don't yeah the laptop situation was sorted out and there I was now I'm trying to make excuses no I need to rebrand I need to perfect everything so that when I come back I'm back with a bang and now I prolonged the whole rebranding exercise which is which I'm slowly and I've slowly done and I've incorporated certain changes like you'll see the thumbnail it's of a yellow heart because that's my favorite color the color of happiness and basically with my initial and what I always what I always say at the end of every video when I say goodbye to you guys is love Al. so that's the reference now the rebranding and then the header and I kept on thinking of all these other things <laughs> and I was like oh I need a new title sequence but I need this that and the other so can you see me trying to put all these things in places or measures in places to hinder me from going forth and then came the second part of getting reliable internet <laughs> connection um, I'm a firm believer of what you put out to the universe the universe will conspire to either give it to you or not and I believe that things come in three and so went to a service provider the first service provider kapampa like things didn't happen to get a router second time around my husband and i were really onto this because i told him that you know what in order for me to continue with youtube i need a router internet because i can't go on so there we were second service provider how the process was very bad because the service was terrible I kept on having to follow up every other day and every other week so there I was trying to call them I gave them all my documents they would call me at the oddest hour and the one thing about me is that my phone is constantly on silent so when they would call me I would either be in meetings or on the way home or busy and we would miss each other so then I'm like okay the universe is like I mustn't use the service provider so, so then I was like okay if the third time I'm not lucky this is a good reason to indicate that I should stop with my YouTubing. How oh, third time lucky the universe was like, mm -mm, Labs, we're not gonna let go of you that easily. Saya Mogelki Ruta and uh, <laughs> then I was like, okay, good. I have to start creating content because now I've got the laptop and now I've got the router. I can't keep on complaining about not having a, a, a place where I can edit my videos. And you know, even if I don't have the tight the, the dopest title sequence and even if I don't have the sharpest camera, the thing is it's all about the content and what you're delivering. So we got that out of the way. So now the third point is that I then tried to be as quiet as possible, hoping that people would forget about me. Uh, and that didn't work so it doesn't help when you're trying to kind of fade into the background and fizzle out that people are subscribing to the channel or either commenting on videos like I know the some of the videos including the one about my skincare and acne journey as well as my trip to Bali with my friend those actually got quite a lot of comments in my hiatus so my break was not much of a break I, and out of courtesy I would really respond to people but I was really hoping that people will forget about me but I was really not intentional about getting off because I really wanted some kind of glimmer of I had that glimmer of hope right to say you count you matter and if you didn't then people wouldn't interact with the content so that was one and also my friends and family from near and far they would be like we miss you we hope that you come back and and all those things so that kind of gave me a good boost in confidence to say if I do come back there will be those people who really come back and interact with me and lastly the sense of camaraderie between youtubers you know I think we we get one another and shout out to Lumka Chwaha I mean she would whatsapp me and find out if I was okay and not to push you know or do anything but she would find out when am I coming back to YouTube and I wouldn't go in de into detail of why I was off but I would tell her that I wasn't okay but she was very patient and comforting with me and said the one thing that she said to me was just know that when you come back there will be a subscriber waiting for your content and I can't wait for you to come back and I, I was like oh my goodness and another one is Precious Ngumane. 
I barely used to tweet guys and because I used it quite a lot when I was journalist but I also felt like the space was very toxic and it drained a lot out of me but on this random day I logged onto my account and I wasn't even hoping for an at and there she was asking saying that I was very quiet on the social streets and I was like no I'm okay I'm here uh, but it's those things that reassure you that you have a purpose and um, I must say eight months or so down the line I'm glad that I took a break and I'm happy to be back and I can't wait to give you guys and give you a glimpse of the kind of ideas because in that moment or in that during that process I got to understand what exactly through Alzheimer's is all about and I got to do a content audit and just get to understand what is it have I been giving people and uh, I'll kind of delve in deeper into it in the future and let you guys know what to expect because I actually went out and asked because when we start we're all about this is what I will do and I hope that people catch on but when when your audience dictates and lets you know what they prefer from you it becomes very a fluid and very organic process so this is me I'm back and I think I'm okay now yeah thank you for watching this please don't forget to comment like and subscribe to through Elle's eyes I hope that you'll be back for the next video that will be coming in a couple of days if not a week love out